Verena Grant Johnson recalls the day she and her mother served dinner to the neighbors who had come to help build a barn on their farm. Preparing meals was just one of the many chores Verena and her siblings were expected to do. We had to work hard, and uh, I think we instilled that in our children, too. They all know how to work. And I, I don't begrudge it at all because uh, mother and dad were good to us, and but they were strict, and we, we had to work. We had to do our chores, which was good. Beyond the smiles and determined faces, though, Pete's photos reveal a vulnerability rooted in hard times. And what little security families had could be wiped out by an epidemic in the livestock or a complete crop failure. And they knew the Depression meant tough times, but then again, tough times were all many had really ever known. I can remember my father telling my mother in the fall of 36, we had $100 to get through the winter and put the crop in. Now, we didn't buy a lot of inputs then. We didn't buy a lot of food, but they made it. You kind of uh, think back and wonder how they managed to have enough vision, enough courage to get through those times. It was tough. It had been tough for a number of years. Many point out they did not realize they were doing without, simply because they had always done without. And even if they had felt a sense of urgency, looking for help from outside the farm was anything but second nature. After all, farms then were by and large self-sufficient. If families could grow their own fruits and vegetables and raise their own meat and plow their own fields, they could come up with homegrown solutions to depression dilemmas too. There was pride in handling one's own affairs.